In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to use database replication. I will be using a database called CouchDB, but obviously you can apply the same principle to any database that supports this feature. So to get started I will be using Chrome. I will pretend that this is going to be the American database and Firefox will be the European database. You need to get Docker installed in your computer. I already have it and it's here. And I'm going to set up two databases for my system. You can set up obviously as many databases as you want. So right here on the left side, I'm going to have the database for America and I'm going to have a new command prompt and this will be for Europe. So let me just split it like this so you can see it. Let's set up a title. This will say CouchDB America. And now you can see the title there. And I will also set the title to CouchDB Europe. You could also have any other databases throughout the world, right? So once we have done this, I'm going to go to CouchDB and we go to Docker. So let's search for CouchDB Docker and then we will find this link. As you can see, there are more than 100 million downloads. And what we need to do now is we need to set up the Docker instance of CouchDB. I'm not going to confuse you by scrolling too fast down, but we need to find this command that allows us to set up the instance with the username and the password right there. So we'll copy this and I'm going to put the command in the American database. Before you run it, we need to do a couple of things, not mandatory, but I like doing this. Docker run, then I'm going to set up a name for this instance. I will call it CouchDB. America. You can call it however you want it. And this is the important thing. You do a flag called the port, actually dash P for the port number. And the default CouchDB database runs on port 5984. Therefore, I'm going to just pass the external 5984 to the internal 5984. So I'm just linking these ports together. This is really important. Let's press enter. And now we should see the American database running. Let's go to the European database. We have to run the exact same command. So I will just copy the command from the America database, paste it, and then we're going to make a change to it. The name of this instance is going to be CouchDB Europe and the port is really important that we change it so we don't crash ports here. The internal port is still the same, 5984, but now I'm going to change it to the external 5985. Obviously, if you had this in a real environment, you will not need to change the port because the IP address will be different. Since we are in a Docker container, we need to do this. Press enter. And now we should have the European database also set up. So now we have the two databases. Let's go to Chrome and we don't need this tab and I don't need a tab anymore. So I keep it, keep it really clean. So we say localhost. And now we're going to point to port 5984, which is this port 5984 for the American database. And then we go and we enter the control panel with underscore utils. And we need to log in with the same credentials that we assigned when we created the instance. In this case, the password is password and the user is admin. So we say admin password. Let's log in. Have to zoom out just a little bit. 
this is in my computer weird I see this scroll bar you are not probably seeing that so now that we have set that up we can go to the databases we don't have a database let's create one let's call it company America so the database is for the company and it's located in America we don't care about this just say no partition create the database now we go to the European instance so we say localhost colon 5985 now the port must be 85 because we designed it to be as 85 you can see it here and then we set up the control panel via underscore utils the same thing admin password and let's log in let's create a database here by clicking on this icon create a database and we're going to call this database company that's the name of the database and for the demonstration I will call it Europe non-partition create so now I have two databases company Europe and company America I'm going to link both of these databases so I'm going to replicate them now I'm going to replicate company America to company Europe we click on this icon and then we say new replication the type is a local database called company America and we're going to use the authentication the same authentication as before password password and the target we are going to replicate company America to a remote database the authentication is going to be admin password just as before and here is the important thing this link I'm going to go to the European company database I will copy this link you don't need to copy it but I will do it for simplicity and I'm going to make a change to it in CouchDB if you want to point to a database all you have to do is you just have to point to the IP the port and the database name but this is not going to be running on localhost this is in a different IP address so if your database was located in Europe you will have to know the IP address of that database since I'm running locally in my computer so I need to know the internal IP of the docker container so to get that out we need to run a command called docker inspect and then we're going to inspect the couch db europe so the instance that we created and right here we have the gateway this is the address that we're interested in not the internal ip address but the gateway address 172.17.01 in my computer so this will go here 172.17.01 we're going to replicate continuously and that's about it let's start the replication so now you can see that's running everything seems to be successfully set up and we can see that from the America database we are going to replicate on the European database if you're in doubt if this is fully running you can just click on any other icon and go back to it and you should see this running there so now let's do a test in the American database I'm going to create a document it's going to be just something simple I will just set up the name to be the letter A this could be a very complex document of course create the document and now you can see that the American database has this document created right just to demonstrate it the document is there let's go to the European database let's just move out and back into the database and now you can see that in Europe we also have one document let's click on it let's expand the document and the name is the letter A so now America actually replicates to Europe you could do the vice versa of it you can also replicate via this icon the European database to the American database there's no point in doing that but the purpose or the principle is the exact same thing 
you need to use the IP that we set up in this part here, just to show you that IP address. That will be the exact same thing, but the difference will be that the port will be 84, not 85. All right, so now I'm going to fake a scenario. I'm going to pretend that the European database goes offline for some reason, so I will just stop it. Okay, it has been for some reason. Okay, now it's stopped. Perfect. So now you can see that it's not running anymore. So we go to the American database and we keep on creating documents. So I'm going to create a new document. The name will be the letter B created. And I'm going to create a new document and the name will be the letter C, create the document. So now in America, we have three documents and Europe is offline. We can't do anything with it. So when we go to the replication in the American website, you can see that it says they are retrying and we have an issue because the database can sense that it cannot replicate to Europe. But some time passes by the engineers, they rerun the instance in Europe. So now the database is back online. And when we go to the European database, let's just move like this. We can see that we have one document still. Eventually, and that is the good thing about CouchDB, it guarantees that replication will happen. So let me just quickly move back and in again. I see no documents still. Let's see what the American database says about the replication. It's still retrying. We have to wait just a little bit. It says here that it's probably trying to re, re replicate in a lapse of five minutes. So now this went away automatically. Something happened. It's running now the replication. I haven't done anything. I have not paused the video or anything. And then I go to the European database and now it says three documents. Click on it and we have document A, document B and document C. So as you can see, you can have as many instances of a database as you want and they will actually do replicate as expected. I hope you like the video. I hope you learned many, many things about it. Please subscribe and give it a like. Thank you.